And we are back. Nimmer and Deer coming back for another round of Greedfall. And when we last left Fred de Sarde, we were in the tavern trying to figure out how to be a victor in the arena because we have to... That is... That's some impressive dancing over there. That, that's a... The walking man. It's the, it's the newest craze in New Serene. Oh, there we go. So before I go spend money to go be a victor in the arena, I noticed this woman in a, you know, different looking outfit who had a name instead of just being passerby or, you know, server or whatever. So, so let's see what she's got to say. Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Now I'm worried Do about the different outfit. you and yours want to have a good time? Oh dear. I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like, then? Okay. Well, that didn't I'll go get where on. I was expecting it to go. What a shame. Come back soon. So, she is um, uh, an entertainer. Yes, an entertainer. That is what she is. They were going to put on a play. Yes, a play. Um, do I... Uh oh, I can't get by passer. Pa uh, I can't get by passer by here. My guess is I need to pay the soldier. But buy a bottle to offer to drink. Uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> sure. What goes on in the basement? I heard there are some interesting activities down in the basement. Really? Well, that'd be news to me. It was a friend of mine who told me about it. A friend who loves his cards. If you're also a player, then yes, it might be something you'd appreciate. You'll even find pleasant company as well. If you're feeling alone and have some coin to part with. Anything else? That's not what Gretchen was for? Okay, now I'm confused. Alright. Um. Nothing, thanks. I'm not thirsty just yet. Alright. So, I got some information. <laughs> <laughs> it would be kind of funny if it turns out that the arena is actually just like a like a Yu-Gi-Oh arena or something, and we just do like you know card battles or something. But I like that I, I can't just talk to the guy; I have to try to walk past him to trigger this. This part of All the right. establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. Sorry, but I can't let you in. Okay, Lieutenant Ryan. I guess I will pay the entry. In that fee. case, allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. Have fun. I am desperately hoping that I don't have to pay that every time in case it turns out. Because at the moment it feels like this quest line is going to send me to go talk to the merchant who then sends me here again to, you know, get stuff from the... Oh, yep. This is this is where the play was going to be held. You can, you can clearly tell they need... This is the, this is the scenery and the, the props. Yes, this is this is where we keep the props for the play that the entertainers were going to do. All right. Yeah, lots of yeah. I got the I got the cards and stuff here. All right. Is this the arena guy? Fight organizer. Yep. Good day. Interested in making a little wager? Unless you'd rather fight. Um. Ask about the arena. What type of fighting goes on here? Ah, there's a bit of everything. Animals, fighters, and even some island beasts go at each other in the pit. If you're tempted, you can even participate. The master of the arena will be glad to enroll you. Um, okay, so I have to find the master of the I'll arena. I'll be going now. Okay. Later, then. That means I guess I can walk through these doors? Is that... Go to the coin arena. Did it not say square to do this? It says square. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was apparently wobbled off the you know the magic you know activation spot, and so Fred just draws his sword. Is this where I fight? Do I fight right here? Um. I'm half tempted. It feels weird to sleep in the arena before, you know, 
Like, I'm a diplomat and everything, but, you know, I'm just gonna take a nap right here by this fire under a bar. That seems, that seems accurate. All right. Let's talk to Arena Master. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It it's is. It's vaguely like Jean Reno. Um, the crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. Ask to fight alongside the hunter prisoner. I don't really want to win the first challenge. I just want to get this guy out. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This yes. man has been the victim yes. of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea. Yeah, it's got some WWE loves. stuff to it here. You know, I'll, I have to yeah. warn you though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, will it be? Well, I have no bonus in the running challenges. So justice cannot wait. Yes, I'm ready to fight. Excellent. And finish the side quest. In that case, the arena awaits you. Oh, great. And this guy is, uh, you know... Are you kidding me? Alright. Am I going to have to try to keep my companion alive through all of this? That could be a bit of a challenge. This is concerning. I like that this one's ancient. He... Ugh. Yep, this is apparently something I'm supposed to come back and do way later, based on these um, numbers here. So, unless killing the bandit automatically ends the fight. That's it's about my only hope. Um, let's see. shoot, didn't see it. Um, and I can't I can't heal because I'm getting the other one. Yeah. <laughs> huh. One down. All right. Shoot. Come on. Yeah, I just... Okay, am I stunlocked now? Um, alright. Come on. This is goofy. Um. Well, too bad is. Oh no, he's back up. What a okay. show! Good. You've won nice. the affections of the crowd, and when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. 
You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life on all Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? Fred. My name is the Sade. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Wow, that was um those are some resources I spent down there. Can I collect the crap off the bandit? Okay. I thought the bandit left something. Oh well. <laughs> For all I know that was actually just the exclamation point. But like the quest marker. Alright. Well, that was that was some combat that happened. Like how that it is kind of interesting how you can apparently like infinitely parry. Like it feels like I probably should have died a while back, but alright. I shouldn't complain. I won a fight that I don't think I should have won, but alright. Sitting on the loading screen. What is that in front of that tree? On the right. What was that? I like that the the arena apparently like needed like its own ah, code and stuff. Oh. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oi, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this Onol Minawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. Because I died the really fast. Always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan, the chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. Okay, well, so the side quest is still not finished. Seriously? Okay, that's just the, uh, yeah. Coin guard merchandise. Yeah, so now I have to meet with the leader of the village. All because they just kept taking this guy's stuff because nobody would explain to him what, what the laws were. Um, all right, so, so that's a thing. Can't help but be curious exactly where that would go down. So... That's Siora's village. That's where the Teleme governor is. The Bridge Alliance governor is like way down here. Apparently, the leader of the Vignamari is in this same area. That's not a good sign. Because the Bridge Alliance, they didn't like the natives, right? This is, this is problematic. Okay. Okay. Well. So at this point... I've, is her sword burning like she activated stuff during my, you know, during my fight? Okay, well, what's done is done. All right. Where should I go at this point? It feels like I should be, you know, investigating these warehouses, you know, like at night. Not, you know, like in the, like the dead of the daytime. That's just, is that just me? Caravans. It says there's caravans out here. Well, I really shouldn't be pursuing a side quest, right? I mean, this this thing with Siora's mother was supposed to be stopping like a war, so I really should be doing that. Not, I was checking my health in case anybody's wondering why I paused. So I suppose I should go up this way to find this village. Yes, that seems that seems like the thing I should be doing. So, let's do that. Making sure I'm looking at this right. Yeah, I'm going the way I need to go. I, I, I am really rather concerned about this whole thing where the... Uh... Who is this woman yelling at? Does she have the Malachor or something? What is she, she was arguing with? Like, nobody. Okay. Well, 
All right. Is there any last minute looting? There is. Requisitions. And some gold coins and some ammo. All right. Well, let's get out here and check out the things. We've discovered the North Road. All right. So Tier for D is made up of several regions connected to each other. Okay, that's fair. As you explore, you'll discover campsites, allow you to rest and travel. When you reach the end of a road, use the travel interface to select your next destination. There are also caravans in your major cities for you to quickly travel from one city to another. I guess that's what I should be using to, like, talk to these ambassadors, right? That seems like the appropriate move. Let's go talk to caravan person here and see see how much he how much he charges us. Greetings! Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where should I drop you? Uh, yeah, not right now. Let's see. I can choose either Hikmet or San Mateus. I think that was the Bridge Alliance city, and this one is the Teleme city, I think? But, um, Thanks, I'm a cheapskate, so, yeah. I had a feeling that it wasn't free, but, you know... It was worth, worth investigating. I mean, this place looks nice and placid. I mean, there's a windmill out there. Nothing bad happens in the vicinity of a windmill, right? Okay. <laughs> conspicuous bloodstain-looking stuff on the map. Um, that's that's not a that's not a concern at all. I'm still wondering if, like, seriously, he was going to charge me ten gold to walk over here. That's it's a little sketch, but. I mean, he may know more about what's going on in this neck of the woods. Hey, I got some Hawthorne. Yeah, I'm I need to craft some healing potions. I went through some... Burned some resources in the arena. Anybody else hear a... F Did the fight... Is that fight music? I don't... Are, like, dudes going to jump out out of this, um... You know, conspicuously tall grass? Is this, like, Pokemon? You know... Maybe if I stay out of the tall grass, it'll be like Pokemon, and I don't have a problem. Um, all right. So let's go this way. Oh, yep, there's a bandit. Oh, there's more bandits. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Yes, we have to worry about the natives, though, right? It's those natives. Has nothing to do with the fact that these were clearly people from, like, my neck of the woods. Alright, took a little damage there. Oh well. Let's see. At some point, I really am going to have to, like, you know... Oh, I leveled up in the midst of all that. Okay. Um. Sure, I'll level up on camera. Why not? Let's see skills. Alright, that didn't seem to work. No, the fast trap thing didn't do quite what I was hoping for. Does, does this increase the damage they do if I go to the next? Armor destruction. Okay, yeah. That's probably not worth it. Which one handed blades on unarmored enemies is increased. Kind of liking my firearms destroying more armor, particularly after I fought those Orox things or whatever that had, um, you know, like five pips of armor before I got to them. Um, or more blade damage on unarmored enemies. In regular fights, I'm probably going to be doing this more. So yeah, we'll go with the Cruel Steel. And I have a talent to distribute here. 
All right, so I have charisma, science, lock picking. Um, so I have to admit, I'm, I'm kind of a talky person, and I, I have not seen this intuition thing pop up yet. But I did notice that at the bottom, it talks about contextual dialogue options that intuition gives me. And I found a coat, like my cape gave me some charisma, which increases these chances, it seems. Uh, do I want the science or do I want the intuition? I don't know. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. I hate, I hate missing conversation more than I hate, you know, having to wait a while to craft. It's going to be, what, another four levels before I get something, get another point. Yeah, I'm going to go with the intuition. Now here's hoping it turns out, hey, I got, an, <laughs> I got a trophy. I'm full of talent, apparently. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah, here's hoping, okay, there are more contextual dialogue options. So yeah, I'm probably going to be leaning on those two as I go through the, the stat tree. But, um, anyway. All right. So, so that's a fight that I've won. Yay. I actually didn't lead with shooting somebody because I felt like I used too many bullets fighting the Oryx to free the native who never should have been in the arena fighting for his life in the first place. Yeah. Alright, I've got some borage. Feels very Skyrim-y at the moment, right? I'm walking around, you know, just like collecting stuff off bushes. Okay, so this is my map good to have a map. So this area it's just a travel thing. Hmm. You said yeah, so I don't know if this actually takes me to the village or not. It's almost feeling like yeah, this is a multi-passage thing. It would feel really strange if it turned out that as soon as I got up here I really don't like this tall grass. Like I said, I've got this like I've got this, you know, like a, you know, a like a wild, you know, bagon or something appears, you know, when I step into the grass. And I know there's supposed to be campsites. Can I walk into the grass? I can walk into the grass. Maybe able to hide from people in the grass. Wonder if that. Wonder if there's actually like a stealth mechanic there for that. Um, can I walk up here? There's no ladder on that side. Um. Requisition. Uh, all right. Got some ammo and an ancient war hammer. All right. Sure. Yeah, I remember I've, I got a thing for, like, you know, setting up campsites. Are there some campsites I can set up or something? That'd be nice. Is Okay, I think that's just a rock out there for a moment, but... Like the grass texture, just the little grass effects on the top of it made me think it was like teeth. Like there was going to be some monster that exploded out if I walked too far down. Alright. Somebody requisitioned everything from this area before I got here. It's sad, really. Alright. Well, good to, good to know that in the colonial spirit we're just stripping all the trees in sight. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm probably... Oh, there's a, a dead man. That's... Where's my party? Guys, what are you doing? I broke them. Come on, guys. What are they looking at? This is bad if a fight breaks out and, you know, they're just stuck staring at the at the ground forever. Really hoping that's not some sort of bug that's going to end up following me through, like, a game save or something. Um. Oh, good, I got a health potion. That's useful. Um. Friend, you're wearing a bandit's hat. And you kind of look like a bandit. Like, you've got your face covered up, so... That's unfortunate that whatever drove you to a life of banditry, but I'm going to take your health potion. It's a shame you probably got, like, stun locked and didn't get a chance to use it. 
I have to admit, I really am getting kind of freaked out at this point if I get too far from my, you know, from my squad that I'm not going to be able to, uh, that they're not going to come to my aid. This does look kind of, this looks campsite-ish. That'd be nice. Ooh, an old blackened rapier. I need another point in agility before I can use it, though. That's assuming, of course, I can continue sleeping at night with a rapier on my, as my primary weapon, but is this... I was hoping this was like, the, you know, like, you know, I was gonna, like, light a bonfire or something and go all Dark Souls. Um, alright. I'm at the point that I think I'm gonna end up having to walk back into the town. I really don't like that, uh, Kurt and Siora have gotten really enamored of something down by the coast, and I'm running around by myself. This is what I would call a bad thing if a fight were to break out, because this game feels built on, um, like, you know, squad conflict. So, Fred fighting three bandits on his own because Kurt and Siora are just staring down at the dock. See if that triggers. Okay, they walked down. Maybe that'll help? I don't know. I'm afraid that, like, their AI, like, their pa No, they, well, they got back up to the steps and then just quit. Come on, folks. Alright, well, looks like I'm gonna be going back into town to gather them back up. Here I was, already to embark on an exciting adventure of discovery, and my companions just decided that it was more important to stare at the ocean. Okay, I think that's the ocean. Is it a river? Oh, I was gonna say there's water on the other side. I guess it's a river, uh, or there's land on the other side rather. So it's a river. It's not a not the ocean. But I'm taking a moment trying to wander around and collect, you know, crafting ingredients because like I said, I'll probably make myself about five health potions on my way once I get back into town. But since I knew I have a crafting station at my, you know, diplomat's house. I'm going to have to stop. I can see more glowy, you know, ingredient picking things. I have had, I've had the same issue in any game ever where you've got the little sparklies that denote items that you can pick up. Was that... That was kind of cute. I don't want to fight that animal, whatever it is, but... This is some top secret side quest. It turns out that that thing is, you know... It leads to the top secret super boss if you know you if you chase it all the way. All right, well, um, Fred's companions have abandoned him. Um, here's hoping that you know he's dancing around because I started feathering the analog stick. Here's hoping that going back to town and gathering them up will let will straighten out whatever's happened, and I'll know better than to walk down those stairs again. I didn't realize the river was such a such a draw, but. Well, we'll try to make our way to Siora's mother in the next video. So, um, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to check out the rest of the series if this is the first place you've stepped into my Greedfall journey. Nimrindir and Fred will see you next time.